right, a close call for an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy this morning. He was involved in a shootout with a suspect. Yeah, but it looks like his bulletproof vest might have saved his life. CBS 2's Car Finstrom is live where that shooting happened. This is in Compton Car. Some new information. Yeah, so very fortunate. That deputy was out patrolling this Compton neighborhood. He was on the street just behind us, stopped a car when everything escalated. Thankfully for this deputy, the bullet was stopped by the vest. The sheriff's department thinks a bulletproof vest saved the life of one of their own. They say last night, two of their deputies pulled over this white sedan for a minor traffic stop and suddenly found themselves in a shootout. They opened the door, at which time that suspect armed himself with a handgun and began to shoot at one of the deputies. The deputy and his partner fired back, wounding the man. He later died at the hospital. The deputy was shot twice. I heard pop pop, and then I heard like five or to six more. Well, when I came outside, they were taking somebody away, and there was somebody bloody up in the back of the cop car. That wounded deputy was rushed to the hospital by fellow officers in patrol cars. The sheriff's department says one bullet hit his arm, the other hit him in the chest, but was stopped by the vest. He's already been treated and released. Anytime you stop somebody to try to make the community safer, you never know what the outcome of that traffic stop is going to be. Deputies tell us the man shot and killed was a known gang member, but they don't know what prompted him to start shooting. Investigators say they recovered the handgun. They're also questioning two women who were in the car with him. Neighbors stayed in their homes as the gunfire rang out. They say it's extremely fortunate no other lives were lost. Well, this guy, he's there, you know. For what? Or maybe for nothing. Investigators did not arrest those two women. They say they don't think they had any idea that this man uh, might have shot that officer. Uh, Jeff and Sander, we can also tell you at this point the name of the man who died here this morning hasn't been released. Uh, we're told that officials are still trying to reach his family.